Well, V. Quincy is my artist name. I've been performing under that moniker since 2015. And that is my initial. So my real name is Victoria Quinn Corliss. V. Quincy are my initials kind of shoved together. And it sounds like frequency. And within music, that's, you know, there's lots of frequencies. <laughs> and I just like the way that it sounded. So that's the meaning behind it. So for this project, it really it started during COVID. And during that time, I spent the majority of the pandemic in Charleston, South Carolina with my family. Um, and it was the first time that I had been, like obviously we were all isolated in a lot of ways, um, but I wasn't here. I was like really isolated from like the creative community that I'm a part of. During that time that we were working on stuff, there was a lot of changes in my life too. And I really leaned on dancing to make me feel better. And so this project is very dance focused, kind of trying to harness the energy that I was feeling while working on it. And because this has just been such a hard time and when you're dancing, you're just happy. You're, you know, you don't think about anything else. And so I think that that's the kind of gift that I want to give people. It's definitely different than my last project, um, but it exists in my world, the same world. And that feels good. It's kind of like the next step, like the evolution of what I've been building. Fashion is a huge way that I express myself and always has been. So I love vintage clothing. I love collecting it. I love styling. I love modeling. I think it's really fun to create art in that way because it fuses a lot of the things that I'm passionate about, like fashion, photography, and also music. Like you have to have music when you're shooting and how music can really influence how you're moving your body. The talent in the city is incredible. But Boston is, you know, is a developer city, like, and there's condos popping up every, every which way. Um, and a lot, a lot of people who get displaced in terms of like businesses are like small venues. And we are losing a lot of those stages, which is a shame. Um, so I really hope that we can see more investment in the arts um, on like a citywide basis. The hardest lesson that I've had to learn is being comfortable with discomfort. I feel like when you're learning something new, you're not, you're obviously not good at it, right? Um, and that's a moment where you can be like, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not like, it, it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable to not feel adequate um, or proficient in something. And I've really had to like look that down, like down that down the barrel and just being like, that's okay. I'm gonna keep working at this and I'm gonna get better. That's taken me a long time to get there, but it's been really rewarding.